cable news is dying, but I think a lot of people don't actually go into the numbers of like cable news television. And so let's let's take that apart a minute. So the top kind of three cable news shows are cable news shows. We're going to use parentheses on all this stuff. Is Hannity, Tucker Carlson, and Rachel Maddow. The the top you know cable news show, which is really just you know, an editorial news ish show. Um, entertainment show is Sean Hannity that's the most watched show and then Rachel Maddow on MSNBC and then Tucker Carlson back on Fox News those are the big three now what do these numbers what what is their average viewership Hannity's is around 3.3 million Rachel Maddow's is around 3.1 million and Tucker Carlson's is around 3.1 million now occasionally they dip below 3 million and occasionally they're you know 3.5 million but on average in in 2018-2019 it's you know the, the low three point something millions that's their view rate. If you're an aspiring broadcast journalist, my advice to you is do not go into television or cable news. Go get a job at the Young Turks or Dave Rubin or you know the Daily Wire or any sort of news thing that has a large presence on the internet. Or go internship at Philip DeFranco. And this is what I want to talk about. It's like Philip DeFranco. Philip DeFranco show averages over a million views a day. So he's at one third the views that Sean Hannity, the biggest news show on television, is. He's at one third and has the staff, you know, one twenty fifth of the staff Sean Hannity has. Just think about that for a second. And now you can argue, well, wait a minute, you know, Philip DeFranco isn't a quote journalist or, well, he doesn't report any news, doesn't do any, like, you know, reporting like traditional journalists. Yeah, right. You think Sean Hannity or Tucker Carlson or Rachel Bonner are reporting the news? No, those are news correlation shows. That's what they do. They either contextualize or collate the news. They have their kind of morning meeting at 9 a.m. They talk about what's already in the news. They assemble a show. They get a guest to talk about what's ever in the news cycle at that moment. They then debate it, and that's the show. That's the show for Rachel Maddow. That's the show for Tucker Carlson. That's the show for Sean Hannity. It's actually not that different than Philip DeFranco's show. What this really means is that right now TV is still being way overvalued. Advertisers are still paying way more for their ad spots and cable news television shows than they are for the internet. And there will become a point where that ad money will go over to YouTube and Facebook and onto the Young Dirks and David Rubin and you know Ben Shapiro's Daily Wire and Philip DeFranco and all the other news shows that are you know trying to do news on YouTube and etc. That advertiser money will eventually go over to them because they can get a lot more bang for their buck. The amount of money Philip DeFranco rakes in on any sort of advertisement is significantly less than Sean Hannity and Rachel Maddow is taking in. Even though their viewership isn't that much higher on a daily basis, and they have a much larger team. I mean, <laughs> not only do they have a much larger team, they're also broadcast into every airport, no matter what, you know, and bar, no matter whether you want to watch it or not. You send there to the Detroit airport, or LAX, or San Francisco, or New York, or Houston, and there it is, CNN, you know, there's, or MSNBC, or Fox News, and they're just, they're counting that as views. They're counting that as views. It's not like YouTube. The person actually has to click and watch 30 seconds, right? That's You can actually measure measure engagement at a much higher and more refined level on YouTube than you can on cable news. So cable news is dying. Those are the numbers. Three million. What is the average you know, viewership on YouTube? A million. YouTube shows, YouTube news shows are growing and catching up with the biggest cable news shows there are. It's just a matter of time. And right now, advertisers are still way overpaying for cable news shows and way underpaying for uh, internet news shows. And eventually, all that money will shift from cable news over to the internet news shows. So, if you're getting into broadcast journalism, forget the cable news. Don't take the internship at NBC. Don't take the internship at Fox News. Don't take the internship at MSNBC. MS, M- MSNBC. My goodness, there's so many letters, I can't even say them all. Take the internship at the Young Turks. Take the internship at Ben Shapiro. Take the internship at Philip Franco. I don't care what your political ideology is. This is just a, a savvy career move. The viewership is no longer there in cable news. This is a dying model. There you go. Those are the numbers. That's my thought for today. Uh, just a little behind the scenes. If you want to recommend a topic for me to talk about, leave a comment down below. Or watch another video and click here or there. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.